Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The Quran and the Sunnah speech about people who respond to the commands of Allah. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his followers and companion. Allah says in His ever glorious Quran, believers respond to Allah and His Messenger when He calls you to that which gives you life. Know that Allah comes between a man and his heart and that you will be gathered to him. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The response to the command of Allah and his messenger gives life to heart and proves one's, one's genuine faith and true love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger. As the Almighty Allah said, believers, respond to Allah and his messenger when he calls you to that which gives you life and said, say, if you love Allah, follow me. And Allah will love you and forgive your sins. Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. Those who respond to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah guides them to thank Him for His blessing by accepting the truth. The Almighty Allah said, Only those who can hear will respond. Also, they are promised with forgiveness, salvation, and paradise. On a day of resurrection, the Almighty Allah said, Our people respond to the one who calls you to Allah. Believe in him. He will forgive your sins and protect you from a painful torment. Allah the Almighty also said, There will be the best of reward for those who respond to their Lord. There is no doubt that the life of the companions of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam represent the true and complete response to Allah and His Messenger. For example, in the case of a change in the Qibla, the direction of prayer, from Baytul Maqdis to the Kaaba, the response was immediate. When they heard the command, they were performing the prayer, and here the Prophet ﷺ received a revelation com commanding him to change the Qibla, so they turned out towards the Kaaba at the same time. Also, once a companion Abu Talha heard the saying of Allah, none of you will attain true piety unless you give out of what you cherish. He gave in a charity a garden he owned. And his garden was the most beautiful item of his properties. But he hoped he would give the love and reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Also when the Allah Almighty revealed a verse completely and ultimately prohibiting drinking wine, you who believe intoxicants and gambling, adulteries, practices and divining with arrows are repugnant. Acts set and doing, shun them so that you may prosper. The companion said, we have stopped it, our Lord. We have stopped it, our Lord. Undoubtedly, the reward correspond to, corresponds to, that, to the action itself. Thus, he who responds to Allah, glory be to him, by doing his commands and avoiding his prohibition, Allah will answer his supplications. The Almighty Allah said, if my servant asks you about me, I'm near. I respond to those who call me. Very important ayah. Allah said, if my servant asks you about me, I'm near. I respond to those who call me. So let them respond to me and believe in me. So that they may be guided. Allah also said, the Lord has answered them. I would not allow the deeds of any not one of you to be lost. Whether you are a male or female, 
in another verse, Allah said, Your Lord says, Call on me and I will answer you. Those who are too proud to serve me, those who are too proud to serve me, will enter hell humiliated. As a Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon them all, as the Prophet, peace be upon them all, reached the ultimate response to the commands of Allah, their supplication, were answered by Allah, the Almighty Allah, said about Prophet Noah, we answered Noah when he cried out to us, we saved him and his family from a great calamity. About Prophet Ayyub, Allah said, remember Ayyub when he cried to his Lord, suffering has truly afflicted me. But you are the most merciful to the merciful of the merciful. You are the most merciful of the merciful. We answered him, removed his suffering, and restored his family to him, along with more like them, as an act of grace from us and remind for all who serve us. Regarding Prophet Zakaria, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Remember Zakaria, when he cried to his Lord, My Lord, do not leave me childless. Though you are the best of ears, we answered him. We gave him John and cured his wife of barrenness. They were always keen to do good deeds. They called upon us out of longing and awe and humbled themselves before us. The one who is guided to make a sincere supplication will have his supplications answered. The Prophet ﷺ said, Any Muslim who makes a supplication contained nothing which is sinful or which involves breaking ties of a relationship will be given for it by Allah one of the three things. Allah will give him a speedy answer or restore it up for him in the next world or turn away from him from him an equivalent amount of evil. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that rejecting the commands of Allah is among the qualities of hypocrites. The Almighty Allah said, and when they are summoned to Allah and messenger in order for him to judge between them, some of them turn away. If they were claiming the right, they would come willingly to the Prophet. Do they have sickness in their hearts? Are they full of doubts? Do they fear that Allah and his messenger might deal with them unjustly? No, it is they who are the unjust one. The Almighty Allah also said, when Allah and his messenger have decided in a matter that concerned them, it is not fitting for any believing man or woman to claim freedom of a choice in that matter. Whoever disobey Allah and his messenger is far astray. As for the sincere believers, the Almighty Allah praised them, saying, When the true believer assumed to Allah and his messenger, in order for him to judge between them, they say, We hear, we obey. There, these are the ones who will prosper. So much we need to respond to the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger, before the capable day, the day of resurrection, the Almighty Allah said, So people, respond to your Lord before there is a come the day that cannot again, as Allah's will, be averted. You will have no refuge on that day and no possibility of denying your sins. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.